I'm going to show you how to use the feedback assistant Everse speaker right here. If I show you what works for me from a DJ's perspective, I'm going to go through the feedback assistant. I'm going to show you guys the quick channels, how you can get a vocal. I have my Everse set up over here. I'm just going to show you what I do when I go through and do a quick little run through at a venue. All right. So I'm going to kind of do a deep dive on this CQ20 interface. So first off, make sure you're connected to your mixer. So that's what I'm doing right here is I'm just clicking the Wi-Fi to make sure I'm connected so then I can actually connect to the to the mixer. So while we're on this channel right here, I just wanted to kind of quick demonstrate. Uh, I'm going to click the number four input here and you're going to watch me click on the library tab, which is, well, right over here. See the library tab on this bottom side? So watch me click number four. Yep and I click the library, and here's where you can pick whichever quick channel you want. Uh, so if you're doing bass, or obviously this covers more than just a vocal mic, it covers all instruments, but uh, once you click that vocal right there, over on the bottom right corner, you see how it says recall? Click that, and that will actually assign the quick channel to your input. And so you can see if we're in the processing tab right here, if you just tap on that microphone icon up there by the top, that will take you into the EQ settings, the quick EQ settings, by the way. They're not a full PEQ, GEQ, so you don't have to know a lot. If you know low, mids, highs, that's all you need to know for here. So once you click that microphone, you can see now you're given a rotary dial. So you can pick what kind of microphone or how it's being used. So if you're using it for speech or maybe it's a lapel mic or a broadcast mic so you can pick and it'll pretty much do a, a, a pretty general EQ for it it'll give you these little quick EQs and now you can play with the low mids and highs so that simplifies things quite a bit if you're not that well versed in a PEQ or a GEQ so we're probably gonna get a little bit more well, all right perfect bad news right so first off as you can see we are in the processing tab at the top and on the left hand side you can see we're at the outputs page so you're gonna click FBA on that main left and right and before we go too much further uh, I just want to point out this is the feedback assistant and what it found as far as bad frequencies at the last gig that I did so before I can find any feedback in this situation, because every room, every setup is different, uh, you need to go into the adjust tab. So, and then you're gonna click each one of these squares and in the orange area, just to the right of all of these numbers, there is going to be a reset button. So see how now there's a reset button that's available to be picked since I selected number two, hit reset. And that'll clear all of the previous FBA frequencies that it found that were bad. If the hold button is not turned off, it will not detect any new frequencies. Primarily, you might want to just get your feedback from in front of the speakers to start. And then I definitely suggest going to at least somewhere where the speeches or anywhere else somebody might use the mic is going to be used and just test there as well. As I'm pointing the microphone towards the speaker in the video, this should. Uh, it pulls those frequencies and starts detecting them and bringing that down right away. Once you're done, uh, you just go ahead and click that hold button again, and it will hold all your frequencies in place. So from here on out, you won't have any issues with it continuing to pull down. It'll just keep those ones in place and you should be good for your event. Granted, this is a pretty significant one, but I was purposefully trying to get feedback just to demonstrate. Uh, alternatively, you can use the live mode and what that'll do is it'll bring the frequencies down for a moment um, and depending on how fast you want it to recover, that's why it says live recovery over there, uh, it will bring them down and then bring them back up as soon as it detects the feedback. 
So you don't lose that, that frequency range. It just brings it down momentarily. So that's useful in a, a, a good live mode. Uh, but most of the time I'm using mine in, in the fixed mode. And now, hopefully that helps a little bit more for people who are a little unsure still. Um, let me know if you have questions. I'll try to get a little bit more videos if I can. Yeah, just trying to be helpful.